What's happening, peeps? Welcome back. I'm Dan. We're diving into another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We've got a special beer from Founders, their newest KBS variant. Yes, you heard me, KBS. It's going to be the Chocolate Cherry variant, guys. So we have not seen this. This is brand spanking new to Michigan distribution as in the last week, I want to say. I was gone on vacation, but I did see this come through. I had to snag a single. Uh, this was $5.89 for the single. I don't know. These are probably like $23 for a four-pack. That's kind of what the standard's been on the Founders. Uh, we have our flagship bourbon barrel-aged imperial stout. Shows off its more romantic side with a KBS chocolate cherry. The rich sweetness of chocolate and slight coffee bitterness blend perfectly with the brightness of cherry juice. Bring you an alluring sensory experience. Perfect for cozying up with your sweetie. Cool. Must be for Valentine's Day, obviously. Bottled on 12 6 22. Today is 2 9 uh, 23. Time of recording. So, two months. Cool. We like letting these age sometimes, but I only have this one. So, this is an Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. Let's dive in, folks. Uh, cool to have one of these. I try to collect the variants. Um, have not seen this one. So, was excited to share this with you guys. Barrel age series under the cap, the standard. A little bit of smoke coming off the top. Proper glassware, as in for whiskey and bourbon. Okay, poured a little aggressive. Darkness, my friend, darkness. Burnt charred mocha head. More chocolatey, a little bit of burnt amber in there as well. Uh, nice bubbling that is dissipating. This is 11.6. I wanna put a disclaimer. I've said a lot of good and bad things about KBS in recent years. It just seems the KBS has been a little bit thinner slimmer, less um, chewy, less big than it used to be. I don't know, that's just kind of where they've gone with the recipe potentially. They're big, they're huge, they distribute everywhere. Uh, look at that head, it's, it's completely dissipating in a strange way, almost like it wants to go away, but it, the bubbles are clinging on for life. Um, cool, all right, let's go to an aroma, guys. Time will tell what we think. It smells like KBS, like straight up, and it actually smells a little espresso-y. Cherry's hard to find. I'm searching for it. Don't really get it. I get some dark fruits and brownie batter. A little bit of ethanol burn. Chocolatey. I, I, cherry is tough to find in this. I'm really not getting it on the nose. It honestly just smells like dark chocolate, brownie batter, um, there's a little bit of like sweetness that I can't point out. There's a little bit of oakiness, like vanilla, maybe from that barrel, but there is this like sweet note that I can't justify what it is or what the source is. Could be cherry, but I really wouldn't know that there was cherry in here off the nose. I don't think. I don't know, guys. I don't think so. It smells more like the base than anything. Let's dive in. Chocolate cherry. Let's see if we can get it in the taste. Cheers. This is room temperature, by the way. Completely room temperature. Hmm. I am not getting it on my first sip. There is some sweetness that I cannot source it. I don't know what, what it's attributed to. I almost would say like vanilla from the barrel. There's an oaky presence in this, like a little bit of that barrel. Not really barrel heat, but a little bit of that. Um, kind of wet, brownie, decadence, um, woody. Chocolate, dark chocolate, a little bit of espresso, I will say for sure. Like I'm almost getting like this espresso variant um, that, that I love from KBS. But cherry was not the first thing I pointed out, even from the smell or taste. Let's go to another sip. The cherry is so faint. I want to say it's the f it's like the most faint version of a cherry cordial, but I have to search for it. It is not slapping me around. It's not coming out as the first ingredient. I would never guess it. It's only that I know it's in there that I that I can assess and determine that there could be some source of dark chocolate and cherry cordial mixture. Um, but to be completely honest, if I was doing this blind, I don't think I would point it out. I would say there's dark fruits, like maybe like fig or raisin with dark chocolate uh, covering to them. Um, I'm getting more of that than anything, but that cherry cordial's kind of almost got like this small 
bitter sourness to it, but it's it's so not noticeable. It's it's very tiny in the sea of other ingredients in here. Again, the espresso, the coffee roast is coming out. Uh, this dark fruit note coming out, maybe like the raisin or fig, which I could be completely uh, misinterpreting, and maybe that's the cherry, but the cherry is very subtle, guys. Very, very subtle. I want more of that cherry. Um, I just wish it was popping out a little bit more, and it's completely room temperature. I should be getting it. Very faint. Again, fig, cherry, cordial. Couldn't determine if it was just cherry. I would just say dark fruit. That being said, I, I, I'm not loving this variant because I'm not getting what they're calling out here. The chocolate cherry, I get the chocolate, absolutely. The baked brownies, a little cookie dough. Uh, again, that coffee roast, espresso. Oaky woodiness a little bit in the back end, a little bit of that bitterness. Uh, not only from chocolate, but from that barrel. Um, I I want more of the cherry. I just, I, I'm, I'm not saying this is the greatest version I've gotten of KBS. It reminds me more of the base or the espresso variant than uh, being cherry, if you will. So I think you guys can see I'm, I'm a little disappointed um, just because it's not 100% what the label says in my eyes or my tongue. One more sip. It's good though. It's really good. The more I search for it, I'm getting a little bit more of that sweetness that I could say, again, that I have to search for that dark chocolate cherry cordial taste. I have to go searching for it. It's in there, but I have to search. And I'd say it's like raisiny and fig also uh, complementing it. So would I just say it's just cherry? I, I don't think I could just say it was cherry, blindly. Um, but that being said, this is really tasty. It reminds me of a solid base, which is KBS. It reminds me of all the good qualities that are and is KBS. Uh, I just want a little bit more of that cherry. Would that throw this beer out of balance? Potentially. Maybe that's why they didn't add all that cherry into it um, and put you on an overwhelming scale of cherry because maybe the beer is not balanced. It's nice and dry. It's it's medium bodied. It's not too thick or viscous. It's drinkable through the middle. Super drinkable on the back end and it ends dry, which I love about KBS. It brings that roastiness. It brings that uh, drinkability. So are they doing anything wrong? No, I just wanted a little bit more cherry. So I'm just being picky. Um, man, it's, it's really good. It's just, I want more of that cherry. Nice decadence to it. It drinks really well at room temperature. Really, really well. It's great. It's a good beer. I just want more of that cherry. Um, I'm just going to go with a... Four one out of five, wish the cherry was there, wish it was more abundant, wish I could blindly pick it out and say, absolutely, that's 100% cherry, but they're not cutting corners. They're probably using good ingredients and, and not using crappy, unnatural things. It's good, it's just not great. So four one out of five, that's still a great rating, but maybe not my favorite KBS. I love the espresso, I love more coffee. Um, I'm biased too, so take this as entertainment. Um, four one out of five, it's been the KBS Chuckle Cherry. Thanks for being here, guys, I'm Dan. Catch you on the next review. Cheers.